be long now before the UW system announces tuition rates for the upcoming school year. The system has had a tuition freeze in place for a decade now, and in an inflationary economy that's no longer viable, state Republicans, including Senator Andre Jacques, have introduced legislation to the future, to tie rather, future tuition hikes to the rate of inflation, hoping to guard against big hikes like the 27% one they saw in 1967 and an 8% hike in 1999, both of those coming following one-year freezes, that according to the Journal Sentinel. And to discuss this more in depth, we're joined now by UW System President Jay Rothman. So let's first like, get folks up to speed. The process and the timeline for the Board of Regents to determine what tuition will be for the 2023-2024 school year looks like what for you folks? Well, well, we'll be making a recommendation to the board. The board meeting will be at the end of this month, okay. which they'll consider a recommendation that we will be making uh, to inque increase tuition. Okay, and you have, you're here in Green Bay, you had meetings today. Is any of that part of your process right now, or was this something different? This was something okay. totally different. I mean, really the process that we went through, Chris, at the end of the day is, you know, Wisconsin's in a war for talent. Right. Um, not enough nurses, not enough engineers, not enough teachers, not enough data scientists. And that's really what we're focused on. But we've been through a period of time where there's been a 10-year tuition freeze. Right. And even though inflation was tamed during a lot of those years, still 2%, 2% a year adds up. And now we're in, a, in an era where there's higher inflation, 8% plus last year, 6% this year. We need to be able to deliver uh, and maintain the excellence in education that our students deserve and their parents expect. But we also have to be financially sustainable for the long term. And that's what we're focused mm -hmm. on. You know, that's why we are having to look at I increasing tuition after right. that 10 year hiatus of, of adjusting tuition. Well, because inflation affects what you folks are doing also. But now let's let's talk about this proposal. Is there an official stance from the UW system on this proposal from Republican legislature le legislators, excuse me, to link the tuition hikes? to the cost of inflation? You know, there, there really isn't. We, we've been looking at this for some period of time um, and uh, really trying to look at how our dollars, the, 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 the value of our sure. dollars have diminished as a result of inflation. So we thought we would make a proposal that we thought was reasonable under the circumstances. We want to make sure that we remain affordable. We did an affordability study a year ago, or last summer, I should say. We are the most affordable public university uh, in the Midwest. We are the best value in the Midwest. The tuition will you be able to say that once this? We will. Okay. We will. Uh, we will continue to be the best value of any public institution in the Midwest. And that's, that's important to us because we want to make sure, sure we're affordable, that we maintain accessibility for our students. Because w Wisconsin needs to win that war on talent. Right. If we don't win that war on talent, this state is going to look very different in 10 and 15 years. And that's what we're focused on. All right. I want to get to what it's going to be like to, to make this palatable whenever it comes out. But first, let's talk money itself. Last summer, the board asked for, I believe it was $262 million in an increase in funding. Now, the governor's budget proposal was for $305 million. Obviously, we'll see what happens when the legislature gets a hold of it and what they propose. But does that have any impact on, on your discussions and your calculations for coming forth with whatever this rate increase might be? Yeah, and I think we need to look back. The, the, the budgetary request that, that the regents made that w went on to the governor was a 4% and a 4% in terms of increase in our okay. operating income. There's another 4 and 4% 4 for the biennium for salary increases. Okay. Because, you know, we, we need to make sure our people are paid competitively. Sure. And quite frankly, right now they're paid That's a different market. talent war, isn't That it? is a different talent war that we've got to be focused on. So in, in terms of the numbers, again, we thought our requests were reasonable in light of the inflationary pressures, mm -hmm. in light of the 10 years. Um, I, it's not an either or in terms of tuition or more s support from the state. We need support from the state as well, but we also need the tuition increase to maintain the quality of it and, and the excellence in education, again, that our students deserve, our parents expect, but we also need to be financially sustainable for the long run. And you can't simply sit there and freeze tuition forever right. in an inflationary environment. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, so messaging now becomes pretty important, right? You, you want to get that idea across. Listen, this is unusual. It's been this way for 10 years while everything else has, has gone up. So how do you prepare that messaging and are parents in store for sticker shock? 
You know, I, I don't think it's sticker shock because okay. I don't think when, when we, we are the most affordable sure. uh, in the Midwest, this great value that we offer. So I don't think it's a question of being sticker shock. And as we've talked to people about it, it's one of the reasons we're having the conversation today is to be transparent about it, be transparent about mm -hmm. what, what our goals are. We want to help Wisconsin win the, the, that war for talent, which means we have to graduate more people. Our strategic plan contemplates that we will increase by 10 percent the number of graduates that come out of UW system schools. That's really important for the state. But that's not, you, you can't do that in an inflationary environment, maintain that excellence without being able to adjust for some of those inflationary pressures. Now keep in mind, you know, we understand we've got revenue levers to pull, but sure. we also have expense levers and we need to be efficient. And we, we are always driving, how can we do it more effectively and more efficiently? And there's a lot of initiatives ongoing on that front as well. But we have to look at that that whole mix. So you know, even if we if the tuition gets increased and we right. get more money from the state, we're still behind in terms of the the spending power of those dollars based on what's happened with inflation. All right, Doctor Jay Rothman, thank you so much for joining us today. Chris, thanks very much. Pleasure to be with you.